okay so i'm sharing my screen today we have a lot of thing so so uh, today uh, we start with the styling an html uh, element html element like uh, we today we style add style on the uh, basically the form element the buttons the input text box csa uh, select box etc and etc table as well so whatever is possible uh, on the time frame i will show you so uh, you all are you all can see my screen right yes Pritam. yes yes yes, yes. yes. Okay. so uh, so i have already added the uh, uh, sample form here okay so inside that form i have added label input tick box and the uh, button so i will add style one by one on the on these elements okay so whatever we have learned for last two days we will apply those here okay so the form element i today i will add the first i will add the style to the div so let's start with div uh, uh what is here form okay container then form so i let's class I'm adding class to the form as well so it is a let's a login form this is a class to start with dot login form inside that login form i'm giving a width so it is a property as we all know from last day i am giving it with 200 px absolute value adding 20 px If, if uh, you guys have any question with the property and value, you can ask as well. So we already know the property and value thing from last day. So you can ask. Let's add some border radius. So this is the form, the HTML form. So I have given given the style to the uh, outer the form element itself. Uh, let's add some background color. Margin zero auto so margin zero auto basically make it center uh, it, it is currently in left align so let me refresh it will come on the center so margin zero auto means the margin is zero from the last element and auto means uh, on both side on left side and right side i put auto so it will automatically adjust and uh, place it on center of the uh, browser So the first item uh, I have added the class to the form element. Then, uh, uh, Pritam, one yes. question. When you write margin zero, I think it should be a lame question. But when you are writing margin zero, there should be no space from the left side or any of the sides, right? As much I understand. Yeah. So margin here actually the value uh, is on four. So tape uh, first is the left, uh, first is the top, then uh, right, then bottom, then left so it is the top okay then right right then bottom and left 
so this is the uh, this is the uh, value uh, so uh, place we are putting adding value of the margin so it, instead of this i am adding if i add 10 pixel to the 10 pixel first then it is adding on the top then 20 uh, and then auto on the right then bottom on 10 pixel and right also on the left that auto so instead of auto if i add if i add uh, on zero so it will align to the left because the left margin is zero okay okay so when you keep only zero it is applied for all the sides and then that is the reason if you keep only zero what will happen only uh, it, it will it will make all the sides zero so where should it come <laughs> i am a bit confused yeah so if i add zero then all four sides is zero now if i put 20 instead of uh, zero okay so it will take margin on all four sides 20 20 pixel margin on all four sides if you check uh, with uh, the inspect element See, it is 20 pixel, uh, 20 pixel margin on the all side. Okay. Okay. And what will auto do? Like when you put zero and auto, so it auto, got shifted auto, to center. Auto is adjusting it, uh, uh, its value uh, in uh, irrespective of the margin. So it will place center. Both side auto, auto means the automatically it will adjust on the center. Okay. So, okay okay pritam i got you thank you thank you pritam now login form i am building the relationship uh, like yesterday okay so level you can add the individual class for the element as well Okay, so here the form level class is added. Okay, but I am selecting the tag inside the form. Okay, so both you can use. Okay. Now I add the style font size. So the level will change. All the levels inside that form is changing to the 12 pixel now. I'm adding display block as the label is a uh, inline element. Okay, so I added display block. Okay. Now what happened? The automatically the text input will come to the next line as the label will now display block. So we have two kind of uh, element in the HTML. Some elements are uh, inline elements. Some element are block element. So label is a inline element the block example of block element is deep p those are the block element whenever you add uh, uh, deep so it will uh, take the whole space of that line but the label is a inline element so it will come uh, the text box will, is coming next to the uh, label now i put uh, i change the changes display uh, property to block so it will take the whole line see if you select if you select the It is a select. It will it will uh, occupy the whole whole line, the whole area till the end. Whereas the input is still is a inline element. So the label I have added the style to the label. Now adding margin bottom npx. Okay. Add a space. Now the input. So. How we can select the input? So I am selecting the parent element, then input. Okay. Uh, I uh, yesterday last day I show you the attribute selector. Okay. So here I uh, select the attribute selector. So login form input 
what kind of attribute I select type 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 equal to text so only those will change which have uh, the input type text see I have I am adding width 200 pixel height 40 pixel or rather it uh, I added 100 percent see uh, so it will not impact it because why because the type is currently email and the next uh, input type is password so it will not impact the email and the password field it will only work on the text so if i change if i remove this the attribute selector let's remove that so what happened let's say now it will uh, it will impact the input because I added the style on the input rather than the particular select the particular act, attribute. So it will impact the checkbox as well because checkbox is also input. Okay. So I have added various border radius, border radius, yes, with border radius. So the input text is now changed to the my pizza style. So text, let change the style to email or in here to email it now now so the the form element like input type uh, text input type password input type select text area all the in the, we have individual selector so if here we have text area then we can add the text area you can do you can apply the class uh, css like this or you can add a simple class to all the element all the input and use that like this or in we don't you don't need to add the Select the attribute, it will also work the same way. So, what I did, I have added a class. Okay. Even you don't need to 
we clear the parent as well. So I have added a class form control and against that class I have added this property and it will change the style of the all the input. Okay. Any question? No, Pritam. The same way we can add a uh, select. Let me add a select here. Okay. So प्रीतम एक क्वेश्चन था सामने सामने जो दिख रहा है तो आपने जो हर क्लास बनाया ना उसको एम बी हाइफन थ्री एम बी हाइफन थ्री ये जो लगा है ये क्या है ये दिस वन यस यस प्रीतम या द दिस आर द बूस्टेप क्लास सो दिस 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 इज नॉट वर्किंग एक्चुअली सो आई हैव कॉपीड दिस कोड फ्रॉम बूस्टेप बट डोंट यूज दिस क्लास सो एम बी थ्री mb3 means uh, margin bottom margin bottom yeah margin bottom 3 is a uh, amount of margin we can add that is the uh, oh. uh, is main bootstrap use kar rahe hain hum log no 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 we are using vanilla css here yeah, yeah. we'll learn the bootstrap later uh, on this session So we are covering bootstrap also. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we have a select, and we have three options here. So select that doesn't any uh. Style right now, so simply I will add that form control class. Do that select. Then it will change. so we added style to the email field we added style the password field we can add style to the input type text field you can add style to the phone number whatever you attribute you select you can add or you can add through any class without selecting any attribute okay you can change the style of the checkbox as well but the checkbox uh, style will uh, work differently we have to use some Uh, you can uh, you have to add uh, style to checkbox in a different way to making custom uh, checkbox right uh, like uh, this one and this one you have to use image or you, you have to use the after class before class for this okay so you can you can uh, get uh, a example of uh, example of custom checkboxes custom ca custom uh, checkboxes radio button on the web you can search and use those so uh the next thing is uh text area for the text area you have uh, i will let me add text area here
what I have to do now, I just same, let me do the same thing, add the classing class to the text area. So this is the beauty of CSS. So I just add a class, simple class, okay, add my all required property here and using that class throughout the application. Huh? If I need to change anything, let me see on a next day, uh, client required that you have to add the reduce the border radius to five. Then I just change the form control class and it will impact all the places. Okay. So these are here. What is left? The button. Pritam, I have a question. Yeah. You said me that checkbox के लिए अलग से करना पड़ेगा. ऐसे कि मतलब उसके अगर div में हमने रखा और उसके div को हमने design किया तो नहीं होता है क्या? मतलब जैसे आपने inherit किया class को. Basic. You can change the basic. Let me add. Let me add the form control to the checkbox. The same class what I have added on the text area and text box. Okay, it will impact it. Okay, okay. It, it will be larger. But if if I add change the this tick, okay. If I if if I need to change that background color, default background color, those selectors are not available actually. Okay, those okay. we have to do in a different way. Okay. So this tick we can select from any CSS. This background color we can the the background color of all the all the, the input area we can change, but that tick background color we can't change. Okay. And we can do that on the on different way. So if you search on Google, custom. You, it, you you will get a lot of thing okay so see these are not default checkbox default radio button so we can create that we have you just add add to style to the before after with before after okay. those are little complicated so once i go to the before after thing i will explain how to add the before after thing okay those are this is function i will explain that no worry Okay, so now the buttons. So button and button has few uh, default things. So button has a default color. If, uh, if these buttons, I I don't yet applied any style, but it has a default style, browser style. Okay, so it has a gray background color and uh, hover effect. All these are default. Okay, now I am changing these default to my uh, required style. So how we can do that? I can do anything here from here. Okay. So any button, anything I can do. So what I have to do, type submit. Okay. I have add button primary. Let's remove that button thing. Okay. Just add that. So dot so i will generally add adding here the generic style for the button what is the generic style so padding margin padding so i pixel on top and bottom and left and right i am adding 15 pixel okay on site it add me 15 pixel for the font size. Okay. Mm. Color I am adding here white. 
which is stand uh, if, if, if which is stands for white color okay so i am adding one more text transform with this property you can change the uh, 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 text case with capitalized lower case upper case camel case you can change that so i am making it upper case so all text will be on the upper case I'm adding some. I'm. I'm. I just. I just added different different property to show you, so that will uh, make you a good experience for the um, the using of property letter spacing, which will add uh, spacing between the letters. So earlier day, earlier yesterday, I had added the line height, so which will add the space between the lines. So now I'm adding the letter spacing, which will add the space between two letters. Two, so it will be a good view button, okay. And border, I'm making it none, so no border will be there on the button. And so, see uh the basic thing has been changed so submit button has margin padding added margin padding uh font color has been changed uh font style has been changed now what i will do this is the only the button class eh? i'm late at it water radius five pixels Now I am adding dot and let me pick one color from here. Subject, okay so this way we can style any button this is the only button right now so let's add some hover property on button hover okay which is a pseudo class colon hover i am adding property to that so on button hover i am adding uh, let's uh, see this is the button when i hover on the button it will a bit darker so what i did here so earlier i have added a button class then i added a second class button primary why i did this because this button is a generic so let's add a different button So I have any kind of button. I can have many kind of button on the application throughout the application. So one is primary, one is I can say secondary. Let's follow the bootstrap name. button error so i have i 
I have added three button. So I don't have secondary class. I don't have error class. So it's for it's have that default class only button. Okay. Now I just add. I have to just add that background color on that secondary. Three kinds of button are there, but if I if I write if I write three different class, I have to add all this property to the button primary, button secondary, and button error. But what I did, I did a common class dot button. There I add all the common property, and what is the the change property which is different different from button to button that I added on the individual classes and come added those two button classes here okay. so is the a very common trick we use in the the hover see the hover thing so i for hover i also use a common class that's bottom hover opposite nine opposite or uh, one it is a 90 percent opposite and is a hundred percent opposite so this way we can change the you can uh, style the button so it's a very useful thing so in some scenario we need to change something on the button so even the buttons are not available so you can do your own so any question no preto no so here we are uh, uh, we style added the style to the form element like uh, input select uh, input select text area okay and button and checkbox kind of thing so see one more thing you can increase the this thing the resize the text box you can disable that just added size none property now you can you can't resize that that resize handle is disabled now you can't resize that text box and how to add a scroll bar inside that uh, uh, text area because if the content goes up yeah it will come by default yeah uh, so add a height mm, let add me 200 okay we already have a height property for the same right oh, oh, oh sorry this is input control now so so i select text area okay Text area is my selector. Okay, element selector. I added the classes text area dot form control. I add height. Okay, two hundred pixel. Okay, and add overflow auto. See now, what happened? So now let's reduce the height to fifty pixel. When the content is overflow, then it, the style uh, the scroll will automatically come with overflow property. Okay, so overflow has what are options like it had auto. So what it are had auto, it has uh, hidden, it has visible. Okay, overflow auto is 
it will add scroll okay overflow if i add overflow hidden okay it will hide okay. scroll it will it, it not only hide scroll it will hide the content as well i the content the, uh, the for the text data it will contact content will come but that when we use the overflow hidden on the div it will hide the rest of the content is content is overflowing the uh, over the div and i have added the height specific height to the div and uh, overflow hidden the content will not show and the next one one more you said right uh, auto hidden and one more is there visible visible yeah what that will do it will keep it visible it, it will keep it visible it will that will apply for only for the divs not for uh, text area not for the text area yeah okay i got that for Thank text you. area you can add overflow auto okay it will add the scroll whenever it, the content will overflow it will add automatically scroll until unless uh, the content overflow okay. Okay. there will be no i got it thank you okay so try all these things your own okay so you can apply style to any div anything with this proper help of property the property which whatever i have uh, shown you here okay so apply those uh, property and try to make that uh, button text box these things okay the next part is uh, yeah flex so flex is very a uh, very important property okay so earlier we have float property on css2 css3 uh, we have float as well but today in current days we are not using float so instead of float we are using flex so what float what uh, is float do actually so float will place the particular element or div or any selector it will help to place that div on the page so where it place it place left or right or center on top on bottom so float will help that but flex is also placing helping to place the content in a better way with better control that's why we use flex on our applications on our html on css so flex have flex have many things okay so i will show you uh, a few things like uh, positioning the content okay so these are the front end element uh, form element uh, html okay so i'm going to flex so flex have a uh, property for uh, adding flex mainly we uh, we differentiate the flex on two way one is uh, flex property for the parent element flex property for the child element the parent div or the child div you can assume okay. for the parent div i have added a class flexbox here for the parent div okay and for the child i have added flex item so now let's check that uh, flex okay let me do all these things flex basis so we have eight child on a parent inside a parent flex box flex box let's add a, a border distinguish border
so this is the outer container the parent container flex box and these are the eight child inside that parent container so now how flex help us to position each and every element so i have added the uh, paid, uh, child one pixel border black and added the padding okay so it is the default one so i just added the flex display flex on the parent element nothing and the height uh, give a height to the uh, parent box the flex box height 300 pixel and border 2 pixel so what happen the each and every element take the whole height 100% height of the as per the div and individual width so these width are basically coming from the padding if i remove that padding the width uh, there is no width actually i did not mention any width here so it is a default property it will come one by one and height 100% so let um, justify content flex direction row what is flex direction flex direction is how the parent will align how parent will come that is the flex direction so now the flex direction is in row so it will come in row you can see 1 2 3 4 5, 6 7 8 these are on row wise so if i change this flex direction to column see now it is coming on column wise i have added a 300 pixel otherwise it will come now it is coming on column so what i did i change i just change the flex direction to row to column okay so default flow default flex uh, direction is row okay so if if you want to change that if we have to change to flex direction to column this is the default one flex row now i am changing the flex direction to row reverse See what happened eight comes first then seven then six then five four three two one okay so in some scenario you may be required this so eight come first then uh, reverse order you can change that to this way you can do the same thing with column reverse it come first then last is one so flex direction this will change the direction of the child element For better understanding, I have added a few styles. Now, flex direction is done. So now I am going to align items. Align items. Click start. So I have to add some style to flex box again. Let's come in 300, make it 800, 700.
I have increased the space. Okay. Increase the height rather. Okay. And reduce the number of items to better understanding. So we have C child on the flex box. It is aligned, align center, flex align item, flex start. Okay. Now change it to flex end. So now it will see the all the three box are coming on the bottom. So what align items did do? Align items fix it position where it will be if i add flex i align items flex start it will come at the top vertically if i add flex end it will come at the bottom so it will work on vertically so now one vertically question here complete. so yeah. is there any uh, justified content also like we use in react native yeah yeah i will come okay. i will come so with aligned items property, we can place the parent uh, on the child child title item to the top or bottom. So we can add position at top and bottom. Can we place it in the center of the vertical center? Yes, yes, we can. So we have to do it aligned items center. It is a very good property. If we use float, we have to do a lot of thing to do this kind of thing. We are, if we want to put anything on the vertical, vertically middle, so we have to do earlier, we have to do a lot of things on the CSS. But now with Flexbox property, it is very easy to align anything on the vertically middle or horizontally middle. Yeah. So the align items, we have three property flex start, flex end, and flex center. Now I'm moved to the next part, which is justify content. So justify content. So with justify content property, now uh, we have placed it on the uh, vertically. Now we play with horizontally. So with justify content flex start, we the content will come on the start from the left. If I put it on the end, will come on the right side of the parent day. And with center, it come on center. It has two more property, two more value. Justify content is between. The first is come on first, third is last on end, and two is come on the center automatically. Okay, so it will automatic the child's are automatically adjusting itself uh, according to the height and the width of the outer container. Let's reduce the height to the 300. It will automatically adjust that on the vertical middle. If I change the width also, it will then it will also adjusting it. That it, the child elements are automatically adjusted. Space between. So let's space space around. Now see. Now what what is changing here? The space around is changing. Earlier it is come to the first and third is come to the last. Now the space is evenly divided into the all these things, all this uh, child element from here to here, and from here to here, and from two to three are equally divided. That the space between two to three is double to the three to age. Same here for the first one. See, these all are the 
Yeah. Pritam, I, I had one more question. So I know justify content. I know align items. What is align content? There's something called as align content also. I don't know in CSS it's there or not. But in align con align alignment is a different property. Okay. Alignment text center is a different property that is used for the center line the text. Uh, no, no. I'm saying in React Native, uh, we have the justify content align item and we have align content also. So is there something like that align content in CSS? No, align content is not here. Okay. 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 Space around and one more is space evenly. See? Now we have more change. So now the space are evenly distributed. The space between h to 1 is equal to 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 and 3 to h. Earlier, the space around is same, but now the space evenly distributed to the three element. So we can place anything anywhere with the help of Flexbox property. It is very useful. Now, if I have, uh, I'm playing with three. I'm eight parent, and I'm adding a width to their parents, right, to the child, width two hundred pixel. So I'm, I have added the styles to the child two hundred. Do you think it is 200? It is 200. What is the width? See, the 133.25, the width. It is not 200. But whereas I have added the style to a flex item given style uh, width is 200. So it is not working. 200 is not there. Why? Because for that, I have to add flex wrap. The default properties of the value of the uh, flex wrap is no wrap. Okay, so it will don't wrap the item, the uh, the child item. If I add wrap property, wrap value to flex wrap. See? Now it will wrap. Now it is. It shows it has. Value of 200. 260. Oh, I have added the flex item, na, uh, space between. Na. So that's why it's, it's taking the uh, space evenly. Yeah. So it will wrap. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It will continue so on and so forth. So earlier it will don't wrap. The, it, uh, the childs are coming in one line. Now it's coming on two line. If you have 16, then it will come on the four line. You can uh, you can change that wrap property to wrap reverse. The eight comes first. The five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So it will reverse the wrapping. The second row is comes first. The first row is come on the second. One, one more property was there, so I missed that on align items. That is stretch. So it will stretch the items. It will stretch the child item to throughout the height of the 
element so see the these are coming on the full height finally the divs are not coming on which uh, occupy the whole space of the uh, parent div so with stretch property you can you can occupy the whole space of the whole height of the parent so if i increase the height to let like 1200 pixel so it will stretch to 1200 pixel So this is the flex box. Uh, we have few more property with flex. Actually, flex is itself a vast thing. Uh, with help of flex, we can do. Uh, with current days, we are doing the whole structure with help of flex. So few items are left with the in uh, flex uh, parent for parent property. I have completed. So few items are left on the uh, child property. That will uh, I will uh, show you tomorrow. Okay. So any question till now with flex box and the flex box and the styling element? No, Peter. Clear. Clear. So we have completed the uh, this one and this one. So for the uh, child part, I will uh, continue from here from tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow we have a few existing more more few exciting things that is responsive thing. How you can render the uh, <coughs> responsive website on uh, mobile with media query and without media query. And tomorrow we have Bootstrap as well, uh, overview of a Bootstrap. Okay. okay, so anyone has any question you can ask, otherwise, we can conclude the call. no queries at least from my side okay then thank you everyone thank you Pritam, for this wonderful session thank you Pritams. thanks, thanks.